Hey everyone, Chris at Laminex. Today we're going to do a demonstration installation on our Project Ford Raptor third brake light. We're going to take measure four universal sheets, do a, uh, uh, an installation without using any moisture, and then trim it to fit. And we're going to show you how to do it and have a successful installation on your vehicle. And let's get right to it. Hey everyone, Chris on Laminex, and we're gonna do an installation of our tint film on this third brake light. Compared to the dark window and the dark paint, it's actually it's a little bit too bright, kind of stands out too much for my own personal liking. So we're actually gonna put a, a universal sheet, install a universal sheet onto this light just to tone it down so much, but it still allows, you know, majority of the visibility to actually still come out, but it just tones down this brightness. It kind of makes it a little bit more neutralized. So I'm gonna show you how we're actually gonna do this installation using a universal sheet. The key thing is first, make sure the area is completely cleaned off, right? Getting any dust, dirt, and debris off of it. So you don't want that trapped underneath the film after when you, you install it. Then you need to actually measure, all right, how, how long and how tall do I need to go? So I take a tailor's tape, and you can use a ruler for this, but you need to make sure you add in a little extra uh, width for it. So in this case, I'm extending it out and giving at least a half an inch to an inch on each side. So yeah, 18 inches length would be perfect for this. Then I'm gonna start from the lowest point here, wrap it around on top, give myself a little extra. So yeah, so about three inch. So three inch by 18 inch. Then you go to laminex.com, go into universal sheets, and you can select the size that you're looking for. And then, select the color. In this case, I'm gonna use tint, which is our lightest film. Since this is actually kind of a smaller piece here, we can actually install the Laminex dry, so you don't have to use any moisture on this case. So, and you can even just use your finger. So I'm the only tool I'm gonna to use is a trim tool to actually trim to fit. We're gonna take the Laminex, the surface is already cleaned off. I'm gonna take the Laminex and peel the liner off. Being careful so that it doesn't stick to itself. And then I'm just going to lightly line it up and just kind of lightly apply it down. And I'm just going to use my thumb and kind of use a pressure and just kind of go around applying it down. Make sure I don't have any air pockets or air bubbles on here. And you can pull it back up, reapply it again until it gets perfect. And I'm just using my thumb as just kind of a sweeping motion applying this down on the surface, on the flatter part of the light. And I have some holes here to where you, you screw in the light to the, uh, to the body. And we actually use our trim tool to trim that up. And now I'm actually gonna work my way around. This light kind of curves around on top and on the side. So I'm actually going to just use my thumb and kind of just slowly but surely apply the laminex around the curvature of the light. And it's gonna get a little challenging as a pinch point around here. And this is where you can actually use a blow dryer or a heat gun to actually soften the laminex to help you apply it around this area. And I'm just kind of doing a sweeping motion side to side to help me apply all this. So any tension points are actually being, or, or bunching folds are being distributed out equally as I'm applying it down around this bend. And it really does help to actually have the film soften in this case. Soften with some warm, warm temperatures or even a blow dryer will help in this case. Don't just do it on warm, not hot, so it doesn't actually melt the laminex. Now, as you can see, I'm just basically just slow but surely, wherever these folds are at, I'm just kind of pushing them in, essentially doing a sweeping motion side to side, working with each one of those bunches. When I'm pushing in that bunch, I'm actually helping di distribute that tension over a wider area. So I just go real slow in this case. You're not really forcing the issue. Just kind of working each little spot one at a time to get to the edge of the light. If you don't feel like it's, it's too much pressure, then pull it back up and reapply it again. I'm working my way all the way towards the edge of the light. And then you can uh, actually apply it down. I got one little fold here wrinkle, so I'm gonna pull this up and press it down, see if I can distribute that out a little bit further out. All right, now I'm gonna take my trim tool, extend it to about a half an inch out, half an inch to three quarters of an inch, and now I'm gonna actually just kind of trim along the edge of the light here. Don't have to cut all the way through the film. I can just go it, pressing down and the folds that are wrinkles that are coming up. This is creating tension with the excess laminex. Now pull away the excess, and now I need a trim around the holes. 
So I'm just gonna carefully make an incision. Try to go around in a circle all the way. I'm not cutting all the way through to damage the light. Once I've got all the way around, come in, pick it up. Apply the excess down. Look for any folds or wrinkles that pop up. If I have any folds or wrinkles that pop up, open it up, spread it back down over a wider area. This is overlapping a little bit, so I'm gonna trim this up. Have a little tension point that comes up. Have a little fold here that's popping up, so I'm gonna open, spread this up wider. And I'm gonna distribute that over a wider area. And there you go. Laminex tint on a third brake light on here. And that's how you do a custom installation on a third brake light using a universal sheet. Our product is guaranteed for five years, 100% made in the USA. If you have any problems or any questions with your installation or any about other product options, just give us a call, email us at help at or hit us up on live chat. Thanks and have a great day. Take care.